nobody catches anything, you want to make sure you, basically, you really want to make sure you leave as you come in with one piece, and that's important to us as a player. Uh, speak of the devil, of course, so these two players will be Adri or Jerry. Uh, there's going to be Yoshi and Ness coming on the screen. This is a matchup that I tell people can be. Look, I think it's pretty rough for Yoshi just because Ness is tipped off to when he was doing it. It lasts for quite some time. Right. At the same time, that's also Yoshi is able to fly around Ness, have last of his box himself, able to get him with things like neutral air. But honestly, the more Ness can out area Yoshi, having better air speed, and better damage, better destroying, it will definitely cause a lot of damage here to Yoshi. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, but one of the things that Yoshi does have a bit, uh, oh, I don't want to say an advantage, but a good tool is that exact interaction right there. Ness loves to use that yo-yo and also the projectiles on stage to uh, punish Yoshi while he's out there. But Yoshi's armor on his level jump can actually help him uh, tank through a lot of that stuff and get back to uh, stage uh, safely. All right, so far, Adam is looking for a cross-up from Jerry. He'll get the cross-up. There is a back end coming out from Jerry. And I like that Jerry sticks up with that line. Like an easy one. Just to see if he can catch Adam. He's double to the corner. He actually hit the wall bounce. He's still looking for a line. He's seeing if I just give Al, I was going to say. This gives Adam an opportunity to come in a little bit more aggressive here. But you can just tell Jerry knows how to try to catch this line. here, and he does on that platform. What a what a great game. What a great game. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm about that uh, first shot to go uh, up there. Uh, oh, retaliated with the back air. Not quite yet, but this is where we're going to see that onslaught of uh, aerials and projectiles. The yo-yo also uh, interacting with that down air. Uh, but nothing coming out quite yet. That back air is going to up that Yeah. Like for that reason, it is like reducing him being a little bit more mobile, and obviously the movement is really big against Yoshi, so that is the move around the character. Unless you have to, you have to worry about Yoshi being any game here, but unfortunately, the game will get that grab on Ad on Adri. There is an issue, you have to respect that option for Yoshi. It lasts so long, it's got quite a big hit box. But here on Jerry, though, looking for center stage, and looking to stick through here against Adri, so he knows if he's moving anywhere, he might be moving to take stage control. There's another near added shield. No touch Another, oh my god, these nerves are amount so much here. 108, Adri's supposed to go for the PK Thunder recovery. Oh, wow. from that down Yeah, the down throw actually going to be uh, catching that, that recovery. Are we going to get anything from here? No, recovery safe. Down throw in there, missing. PK fire. Not making it either. Again, that armor jump on Yoshi is going to be uh, saving him quite a lot of these interactions. They had a shield. No, we're going for the roll. Yeah. Also not oh, uh, back here is gonna go to the And that's good for Adam. He was looking for Sci Falls, looking for a way to come back on the team. Unfortunately, it's Yoshi. The thing about Ness is while well, he does have this work, Yoshi's tail itself, the Nair also has this work. Yeah, it lasts a ridiculous amount of time. It has so much damage. You have to really respect Yoshi. That's the one thing about Yoshi. Even though he doesn't have good air speed or good at all, that double jump armor will come in touch in a lot of situations. It amounts to quite a lot. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, now, while watching this, uh, this match, I was kind of thinking about myself, like, does one of these characters get a little bit more mileage over the other? But it seems like both of these characters actually do have ladder consoles that can both benefit, and they can both use the, uh, the platform and the, uh, the space of the platform. Oh. Both, both different styles. Uh, Adam is gonna watch out for those Yoshi Polar area, man. Yeah. I'm telling you, he's, at, at some point, he's gotta go back to that game where he is using side stall, but also possibly trying to get some cross ups and facing a little bit. Good down smash, uh, potentially just to cover the ball against Jerry. Tries to go for a very aggressive down and knowing what it would mean against Jerry here. Watch the shield there, because that down he could actually break the shield if he was in the center. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, down tilt coming from Jerry. Good rising forward from Abby. It gives him a little bit of control for the center stage. Neutral air is not going to be in that there. We'll get stuff not stuck up by Yoshi here. Four smash with that commitment. Man, you could just tell Jerry to seize the victory in his hands, possibly, but Adrius cannot get anything out there for a play. Yeah, no, you see, I, I just project specifically. Uh, we're seeing a lot. Oh! And the yo yo actually going to be taking it. But what I was about to say was uh, in those higher percent interactions, we're seeing a lot more of the commitment for him using the side magnet yeah. and the grab, fishing for that kill. Uh, but a fantastic. Uh, first round of uh, that set. Yeah, it's good for him too because you saw him hold that up smash a little bit just for a few seconds to get that full yo-yo charge, which is really good just in general just because you can wait for your opponent to come in for that landing. But at the same time, because that yo-yo sticks out, 
you will be able to stop your opponent from also just trying to hold on to the ledge yeah. as well. So that's good awareness. That's one of the things about Ness's toolkit. It's just, it, there's so much of it that just it feels so horrendous to get hit by that when you see Ness pull it off. It really, really is upsetting and hurtful. All right, so far both both players kind of stuck in the character switch here. I'm sorry, no. <laughs> I was stage, stage select. <laughs> but I do, I do like it because some players they always just gentlemen PS2. When in reality, there are some matchups that are much better if you actually just try to stage come with them. Yeah. One of the few matchups I actually tell people you don't want to go PS2 up against is DK. You don't want to get Bloggy on that PS2 because oh he gets asked for that thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, shout out to my boy, uh, ABK1147. I play him. He's a fantastic uh, DK. I've trained a lot with my NBA. Mm. And that matchup is rough. You never, ever want to take DK. Yeah, <laughs> you don't. You don't. That is for sure. Like, But a lot of people are gentlemen picking. And even if you do have a winning matchup, you have to ask yourself the question, what does my opponent get on this stage that I need to look out for? And that's why you think about stage striking. You have to look at your opponent and your opponent's character as well. There are some players who are more comfortable on the stage than others, but if you eliminate that comfort zone with at least a little bit of a stage pick sometimes, that can go a long way at times, uh, especially when it comes to combos from and platform extensions. Oh, absolutely. Oh. Oh, that down smash uh, clearing it out. But yeah, like you said, you make an excellent point. And that goes for all stages, actually. Even where we, uh, where we are here on uh, Smashville, you know, it's easy to pick a stage that's beneficial for your character. But you also have to keep in mind how much mileage can my opponent get on this stage as well. Exactly. You have to look at, like, those little tiny consistencies that your opponent might be looking for here. For Jerry, though, he is looking for that tiny little opportunity to come back on the stage as well. And he is going to be Adri's with this backhand. Really good at just take out Yoshi in that situation here. Double off there. Man, that was so close oh, to that forward air. Forward air. No, that was really very close. Even if he didn't get forward air, he just went for another aerial at that point, just knowing how Adrian's going to look for a landing and look at the eye away. He could have just read that DI. Yeah, before seeing the animation, I thought he was going to go for a third off there. Yeah, actually. same. Uh, of course, right here, that's such a rough angle here for Adrian. He's forced to go for that low recovery, and that's good for Jay to look to cover that with neutral air. Yeah. Like I said, that lasting hitbox can do so much, not only against Ness, but the PK Thunder itself as well. Yeah, I know. Not only does it have a long action hitbox with the grip, yeah. but the drift on it, the aerial drift on that is insane. It's a fantastic tool uh, for Yoshi. It's just straight out of shield. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's such a good like get out of jail free option. If your opponent gets and puts you in the jail in the shield, you just go for Nair out of it. Uh, unfortunately, though, it is committal and readable from Yoshi. If your move is much safer, it is good. It's also important to note that Yoshi, when in the shield, he has one of the strongest shields in the game. Yeah, a fantastic blender from uh, Jerry right there. Last not quite making it smart. You have to get back up stage with that, uh, that down air. And I always forget that the down air sends you up. <laughs> up in the air like that. And, like, it's such an obscure, uh... That's the one thing I hit about down air too. It's like it's so committal from Yoshi, but when I see myself get hit by it, ah, uh, just upsetting. Very much similar to Luigi's dash pad. Uh, Jerry though looking for a line here. He's got some cool stocks to himself here. Adrian's looking for the opportunity. Just take out that 130. He's looking for either a grab or an opportunity to set up with something like side stall, back air, PK, PK fire. Those are some options that Ness can open up those possibilities with. Yeah, absolutely. All right, good. Doesn't like the situation after the downer. Rolls out, try to take center stage control here. That's the thing where I can tell people sometimes if you're unsure getting out of a situation at the ledge and just proceeding to take stage, stage control, you'll earn so much. Oh, what a land. Oh, wow. oh, fantastic DI, though, from the nest. Give it get back on stage here. 134, rise in border, will do the trick. And the onslaught of down tilt. Oh, though. I told you. Yeah, it's not going to reach, though. No, don't do this. Oh, okay, okay yeah, never yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah, that did yeah, reach. Yeah. Oh, that was so sketch. I was like, no, don't sacrifice that. But the hitbox is good. It, it, yeah, the hitbox is good. It is not <laughs> the, 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 that good. It's not like <laughs> it's not like Arsene, you know, up smash, Arsene counter. No. Right. Oh my gosh, I was in like so much fear for him for not getting that punish. <laughs> yeah. The, the thing here for him though is, like I said, like there's so many times you do see that down, but you kind of want to respect Yoshi if you're at the wrong spot of that. Plus the stars that come out from the side, that will be a lot of shield damage and a shield break, and that'll pretty much put why we saw a player like Adri's lose in that situation. You have to really watch out from your ledge. Yeah, I think actually that was one too many uh, down tilts, and I feel like he's not going to lose like one more. He would have time to react to that. Yeah. Uh, speaking about having time to react here, let's see if he has more time to react against his opponent here in game two. Uh, we're back here again, of course, Yoshi and Ness. Um, small battle for Yeah, and this changes things up. Uh, of course, it is very similar to Pokemon Stadium 2 in the Bi-Plat. Uh, small changes here, of course, as you can see in design-wise, but uh, we'll see how things go here in Small Battlefield. 
This is a stage that I also hope to be pretty good for Yoshi, just having those two platforms on the side. Because if your opponent tries to go for a higher recovery, you can snuff out that recovery with Yoshi's the aerials. There is that Nair. No tech chase on this platform here, but I do like the fact that Jerry looks to see how Agile is going to get up from that. Yeah, I actually feel like this stage overall is fantastic for any sort of projectile-based user. You can cap it on those platforms, and like the, the positioning is just so awful to cover so much different set of options. Yeah, uh, speaking of positioning and so much to cover there, that's really good for forward. Fantastic. Uh, fortunately, <laughs> Adri is being caught on, on the left side of the ledge. And, uh, tough stuff, but you gotta learn to shake it off. Oh, oh my gosh. He actually tech rolled that. He's gonna let that rip a little bit earlier when connected. Probably just killed that shit. Yeah, that is a home run bat for Ness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If I'm not mistaken, it does say the word slugger on it, but we'll see who's going to be the real <laughs> slugger here. Uh, Jerry has the first one of the boys, still with a stock with your 83. Adam is looking for that full day. He can fire that is. Ah, oh, see, that would have been clean if you were just waiting for it just to go for the forward smash yeah. right away. No charge, but I feel like he kind of wanted to get to the or a back throw. But. Yeah, I don't think it's so much he's uh, a little bit flashy, which I, I thought like, maybe initially he was, like, just sort of like a big on uh, But I think it was just shouting uh, Oh, good nerd to cover that, yeah. It, it's. It's got some good frame data, like I said. It's pretty fast, lasts a while, but also can beat out things like PK Thunder if you're able to get it right. And unfortunately for Adams, you didn't want to go too low, and you didn't want to be too high, so that pretty much gives Jerry the stop here. I'm reading that opportunity, he's in there. Adries, man, he is still looking to catch out here, 133. Yeah, he is struggling to both up the stock, uh, down two stocks now, and every mark, uh, every now and then, or every, every hit, every now and then, make it a mark, but no kill. While uh, Jerry has only been getting more mileage, and he's doing a fantastic job of uh, safely spacing himself out while uh, racking up the damage. As you should. I mean, that's, Ness is one of those characters, like I said, he has disjoints. His forward air, his back air, his up air, pretty ridiculous. But the one thing that you can do against the character is try to hit him with your own disjoints. And Yoshi, fortunately for him, he has enough. There is that forward air stopping Adrian's a little bit in his track. Goes for that deep nair. Can you tech this? Oh! oh! And the directional air dodge just pushes us ever so slightly yeah. away from that blast zone here. Ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be Adrian's going down and this Yoshi's going up. Yeah, fantastic.